has, it has like a, a lope now too. <laughs> Ooh, it is cold out this morning. Yeah, it's probably like, mm, it's probably upper 60s right now, but it feels really chilly. It's nice and windy. It rained this morning. So I woke up at around five o'clock this morning because my brother and I were gonna get out. We're gonna spray fungicide, the old 6000s, and we still are. But it is now, what time is it? It's now 7.40 because it ended up actually raining. But it is still cool enough outside that we still think it's going to work really well because some fungicide likes to be applied when it's nice and cool and actually a little bit of rain is going to help as well because um, we don't spray a lot of gallons per acres with these old high boys because the tanks are so small only 300 and 300 to 320 gallons depending on what tank you have so a little bit of water in the leaves actually acts like a natural carrier but before we head out I have some stuff to do the trailer then I'm gonna hop in the truck Drive it out there, the sprayers are already out in the field. Got them out there last night. Well, there we go. Um, Chris already tried to start his sprayer and it's dead. So, just another day in the high boy life. Just fixing stuff before we start. All right, he's filling his up. We got it started, got some jumper cables on it. Now, we did change a couple little things in my sprayer um, off video. Actually, I give credit to my dad and my brother. They did it. I did not. Basically, he has the big clown tires in his to make his boom like 14 inches taller than mine, which is tall enough to get over the corn. Mine, my boom, this is as high as it goes, is still like hitting the tassels. So, I don't know if you can see it, but these spray nozzles right here are actually just shooting straight back rather than down because the corn hits the boom and those middle nozzles are only getting the tassel and we want it to get better coverage so we're just shooting straight back and then the corn leans so much underneath the frame we put these on to kind of get some better coverage as well and uh, we're gonna see how it goes um, apparently my dad and my brother drove this the other day just spraying water and they thought I had great coverage so we'll see okay I think I'm there where I need to be let's center my line pumps turned on quarter and third gear Slowly let out the clutch. I don't want to flip this thing over backwards. Spray on. And we're spraying. We are spraying fungicide. I'm only going like eight and a half miles per hour, maybe. But this thing, when you're going through corn, it feels like you're going so fast. I also have a hydraulic leak somewhere in my hydraulic system. Because my floor is covered in hydraulic oil. No holes, we're good. Every time I see an opening now, I get flashbacks. Anyways, my floor is covered in hydraulic oil, so I have a small leak somewhere in my hydraulic system. Tried to find it last night. Oh, another one? All right, we're good. I tried to find it last night, couldn't find it. So I guess my floor will just not be rusting for a very long time. should have installed the radio. I'm really regretting it. I have something in my Amazon cart right now. I should probably purchase it. Really missed it. So one thing I guess I never really explained is what is a fungicide? Well, basically it's what you spray on crops late season to help protect against diseases and to make the crop healthier. So in this case, we like to use it on all of our corn just for kind of wind insurance, right? It makes that stock a lot healthier, makes leaves a lot healthier, makes it a lot more resistant to tip over. And then also if you have different diseases like um, gray leaf spot, tar spot, rust, it can also help control that as well. Now, 
There is a pretty big yield benefit in corn when applying fungicide, sometimes, not all the time. So last year when it was really dry out, I mean, it provided the benefit of, you know, wind resistance and stuff like that, but we never really saw a big yield benefit. Um, but this year where it's been hot and humid for a lot of the summer, um, there's a lot more diseases out there. So it can be a lot more effective and we're hoping to see a bigger yield benefit this year. So I've actually partnered with Corteva to show off their approach Prima fungicide. Now we have actually never used this before. So I'm gonna put it in a trial against another fungicide that we have been using heavily for the past couple of years. So I'm gonna do 120 foot trial. So 120 foot of this, uh, then I'll do a check strip, 120 foot of the other competing product. And then I'll just keep going every other um, across the field here. So I'll be spraying approach Prima fungicide. My brother will be spraying the competing product. I'll get the drum up in the air so you guys can see what we're doing. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. So what's cool about Approach Prima Fungicide is that it is both preventative and curative because it has two active ingredients. Also, it works really fast and it has a rain fast time of about one hour. So I'm pretty excited to try this. Uh, in terms of cost, this is actually about a buck and a half cheaper per acre than the competing product we're gonna be putting it against. So the only difference in the tank mixtures I'm gonna be doing is uh, the fungicide. Everything else in tank mixture is going to be the same. There's not much else in there. so. Um, but yeah, Corteva did not pay for any of the products. Uh, they're paying for the video. They're sponsoring the video. But they did not They did not provide this. They did not provide any seed. Um, they told me to do this trial, test it out, and tell you guys what I honestly think about it. So um, we're going to hopefully do kind of a walkthrough here in a couple weeks, see how healthy these plants look. And then after harvest, I will be doing, or either during or after harvest, I'll go through and I'll actually give you guys the results of the trials to see how this stacks up against what we've been using a lot here in the past couple of years and uh, see if there's any yield benefits. So if you wanna learn more about fungicide or if you're interested in the approach to fungicide, definitely worth checking out. I will leave a link down in the description that tells all about it, all the benefits, all of the diseases that it controls, et cetera, et cetera. Go check it out. Like I said, that'll be down below. Let's get the drone in the air, get this tank filled up. See you guys in a little bit. I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't wanna be like you. If you wanna take it back to the fifties, maybe I'm the guy for you. Have you thought it through? Uh, Cause you love to tell me what to do. Say no. like to call and let you know that I no longer have a muffler. 
a muffler. It's just straight pipe straight down out of the bottom, bottom of the sprayer. Huh. You know, high boy this year has been good without trying to jinx myself. Um, we've had very few issues. In fact, basically none, except for the fact that now, now I have a straight piped um, uh, 6,000 high boy. Let's, let's rev her up a little bit. Oh yeah. This thing wasn't loud before, it sure is now. Blah! And that, that's what it sounds like. I don't know what you think, but I think it's a pretty cool sound. We just made my high boy 10 times cooler. That yeah, sounds like we're at the races. <laughs> it's so bad. When you when it, when it's under load, like when you turn around and endro and like floor it, oh, it's so bad. Once you get up to speed, it's fine. It's just under load. It's really bad. Yeah, more power? Or? No, no more power. It has, it has like a, a lope now too. So now that I don't have a muffler, I have to talk like this in the cab because it's way louder in here than it was a little bit ago. But there's something I've always wanted to try. So my dad said when he used to spray with these sprayers, his main sprayer uh, back in the day, he would spray in road gear. And I'm like, you know, that sounds kind of interesting. I, I want to try it. I don't know if I can even maintain a rate at 12 miles per hour, but we're going to give her a shot here. <laughs> wow. I'm maintaining rate. Oh my gosh, if I hit something going this fast, I am screwed. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's probably the coolest drone footage I've ever gotten in my life. I'm pretty dang proud of that. Um, it's a little bit later in the evening now, so we, we quit after that, got too hot. Now we're gonna be going during the night. Hopefully I get some night footage for you guys, but here's how we tow our rigs between fields. So I tow mine behind a pickup. My brother tows his behind the semi, uh, cause you can just put them in neutral. And they got this nice little hitch that you can hook right up and then it just spins a tire or turns the tire with the unit. So yeah, let's get spraying again. Half my light stopped working. I don't know why, but I can still see. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away I don't nighttime footage. I don't know why the headlights on this side of my cab are not working, but they're not. It is what it is. I, every time I hit a bump, like my windshield wipers would randomly go. Dude, the, the big sprayer ruts are kind of ruining the sprayer. At least the electrical system. It's kind of nuts. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.